Everybody loves garlic. Well, maybe not everybody, but we do, and we like to cook with garlic. But here in the south, we live in zone eight, in the deep south, we have trouble growing garlic. I have tried several different varieties over the years and not had a lot of luck. We have very mild winters sometimes, and sometimes we have hard winters. Last year, our first frost date was January 20th. So it's very unpredictable what kind of winter we're gonna have. And I've not had luck growing garlic. Uh, we have very high, high humidity. We have very warm spring, uh, spring times sometimes. Our, our temperature gets way up early on. Sometimes it doesn't. So we have failed at growing garlic. So several years ago, I talked to a friend of mine, Herman, down at Turkey Hill Farms in Tallahassee, Florida. And he told me about elephant garlic. Well, elephant garlic isn't actually a garlic. It's a very of a leek but it grows well here and we started growing and we've had great success with it. So I want to show you how we grow our garlic down in the south and maybe it can help you. As you see, the leek's huge. And here's just one clove here. And we're gonna plant them about four to six inches deep and we're gonna plant them in rows about 22 inches apart. Now we don't like to use herbicides so Weeds can be a problem with onions and leeks. So we want to plant them so we can get in there and work them and keep the weeds out with our wheel hoe. And I'm going to show you how we do that. All right, here's our onions we planted. I plant my onions about 16 inch rows. That gives us plenty of room where I can run my single wheel hoe down through there. I can also take my double wheel hoe and run through there and keep the weeds out. So here's the single wheel hoe and I'm running the middles. I can also come back and straddle that row with my double wheel hoe and get a real close because weeds can be a problem with these onions and, and these elephant garlic. So 16 inches there because I like to plant real thick where I don't have to compete with my weeds as much and I can keep it weeded out good and there's no use in having them spread out so far that you have to go in there and weed a lot. So I busted off and I went 24 inches from my onions to my leeks and then I'm going to plant my leeks on 22 inch rows. So I take my row marker, I got it set at 22 inches, and I'm going to mark off my rows. So I take the double wheel hoe, got my plow set up in the middle buster position here. I'm going to bust me out of first so I can plant my, leaf, my elephant garden. So you always want to plant your elephant garlic with a blunt end down and with this pointy end up, up right position because it's going to sprout and come up from right here. Six to eight inches apart, four to six inches deep. So I got my plow set out in the healer position. I'm going to go down through there and cover them up. Be kind of careful as you go through there and you see it does a great job of covering it up. It's a lot easier than using some other hand tools. So we used the wheel hose to plant our onions and our elephant garlic. We got them set up on spacings so that we can use our wheel hoe to keep them weeded because garlic, onions, compete a lot with weeds. We don't use any herbicides, so we have to keep the weeds out manually, and we do that using the double wheel hoe and the single wheel hoe. So if you hadn't grown elephant garlic in the past and you've had trouble growing garlic, regular garlic, you live in the south, you may want to look at it. It's a great plant. We'll harvest it come late spring, early summer, and it'll store all the way through till next year. And the great thing is we can save our biggest and best cloves to plant again next year so we don't have to buy cloves every year. So there you have it, a good sustainable food source that stores well elephant garlic.